Let me guess. You try to update a SharePoint daytime field from Power Automate, and what you updated is not what you see inside SharePoint. In this video, we want to solve this issue once and for all. By the way, what you learn in this video also applies to Dataverse. So, I start the demo acting like I have no clue of how things work here, and then I explain the cause of every surprise followed by the solution. Let's do this. Do you know what Power Automate and Aviation have in common? Well, they both have date and time, and they don't have time zone, simply because they all work with only one time zone, and that is called UTC time, or in aviation, they call it Zulu time. Airplanes fly all around the world, they need to communicate, and there is no room for time zone conversion. They all look at one clock, and that clock is a UTC time. Same thing goes with Power Automate. Power Automate runs on the server. Many apps, many clients, many things are interacting with it, and it cannot accommodate to all of them in one shot, and deliver the time zone that they want. Power Automate says, I only have a one time zone, I only work with UTC time zone. If you want to cater it for a specific time zone, go for it. I can give you the functions or the actions to convert the UTC to your local time zone. If you want to give me something, you have to tell me what time zone it is so I can convert it to UTC and then work with it. And with the same logic, you won't be surprised to know that SharePoint follows the same rule. With this introduction, let's go back to our Power Automate. Inside Power Automate, I created a flow that is just a manually trigger flow with no other actions. And inside this, I want to get the current time. There is an action called current time that you can simply add it to your flow. This is my current local time. I pin it to the screen so when we run, we can compare the values that we get from here and the actual value that is running on my local time. So let me just save it and run it and see what current time returns. You notice that current time doesn't have any parameters, so it totally ignores any time zone and it says, this is the time that I work with. So let me just test it manually. Gosh, test, run flow, and done. So now that we have this, I can click on the current time and I see it's reading 16.48, while in my local time zone, I have 12.48. Well, it's slightly different, but that's what we need. So this is our UTC time. Now, I told you that SharePoint follows the same logic. So if I get exactly the same current time and insert it inside SharePoint, I should have the correct time in my area. Let me do it this way. Inside SharePoint, I created a list called date time demo inside YouTube demo SharePoint site. So I try to insert one record here. I go back to my flow and under this, oh gosh, edit, I can say create item. And for SharePoint, I just pick up the SharePoint site, pick up the list name, which was date time demo, and I click on show all. For the title, I want to show the current time and I click on this guy and I get the current time from current time. And I do exactly the same thing for the date time sample, which is this field. Title is text, date time sample is date and time. Let me show you the setting of this column. You see it is date and time and it includes the time. Beautiful. So let me just get back here to Power Automate and for the value of the date time sample, I also want to assign the current time from the current time action. So let me pick the current time and I can click on save. Again, keep an eye on the time that I have here. Let me just test it. And I click on manually trigger a flow, test and run flow. Done. Now, let me go back to SharePoint and see what's happening there. All right, now here is a surprise. 
So I have the date, which is accurate. I have the time, which is slightly different. I know it is the UTC time zone, and this is my local time zone, so they don't match. I'm cool with that. But there is a tiny thing that you might have noticed. Look at this date format. This looks like my local date format. This is what I expect as the format for my date. Well, it doesn't look like that. It seems like something has happened backstage. Now, let's go for the date time sample. Well, date is correct. 10.50 a.m.? Where did that come from? This is my local time. This is a very common issue. Your UTC time is correct here. You can see it here. But the date time sample, which is the actual date time field, does not match. So you know, you inserted the correct UTC time, but what you see here is not what you expect. Well, you need to go to your local SharePoint site, to the site information, view all site setting, and I go to regional setting. And here you'll find a problem. Well, my SharePoint site does not match the time zone that I am in. It shows me mountain time. Sorry, guys. I am living in Eastern Standard Time, minus five. By the way, never ever change the time zone on a SharePoint production site that contains data, especially when it comes to calendars. If you know the reason, tell me in the comments. And if you don't know and want to know how to do it properly, again, let me know. I may do it in another video. All right, let me just scroll down and I click OK. Now I can go back to my site. I go to my date time demo and voila. Now it is matching. Yeah, 12.50, it's been already four minutes past, so we are good. So one issue is fixed, but what about the other one? Why this date time does not match? This is the dirty little secret that goes with SharePoint. The value that the current time returns is a date. So this is what it actually returns. But when you want to insert it inside SharePoint, the value that you pass for the item title is still the same thing. It has nothing to do with display. But SharePoint API thinks that, hold on, this one looks like a date. So let me just convert it to a little bit user-friendly date format. So this is something happening automatically. It has nothing to the date type here. Remember that Power Automate is running on JSON. And if you look into the JSON data types, there is no date or time data type. Everything is a string. But SharePoint looks at this string and says, oh, well, it looks like a date. Let me convert it to something like a date. And how can we fix it? Well, it's happening automatically in the backstage, but if you just come here and instead of title, you add something in the beginning like UTC time. Now, the combination of the actual UTC time and this string right in the beginning doesn't look like a date that SharePoint can convert. Let's test it now. And there we go. Test, run, and done. Look at this now. Refresh. You see what the problem was? Now it gives you the exact string. So this is a little bit of trick behind SharePoint. Now, one more thing. If you have a certain time and you want to convert it to a different time zone, you can always use convert time zone with the space as far as I can remember. Okay. Let's see if you can find it. Convert time zone. Here is the one. We can always use this one. It's added right under current time. The current time that this guy gets is the UTC time. So I can say whatever that you get from the current time. Source time zone is UTC. You can change it to whatever you want. Destination is Eastern time for me. There we go. And you can set the time unit to whatever you want. At the moment, I just want to pick the full daytime pattern something easily readable. I can simply save it and test it. Let's see what it shows us. Run flow, done. And under convert time zone, you see it takes the current UTC time 
and for the output it converts it to October 5th 1 p.m. which matches with what I have here. All right I hope you enjoyed the video if you did you know where the like button is and if you stayed with me up to this point I guess I already earned you as a new channel subscriber. Thank you for watching and I see you soon in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.